Mrs. Miller, you have five minutes, please. Thank you. <clears throat> Deputy Secretary Martin, the Department of Justice issued a memo directing the FBI to investigate parents who show up at school board meetings. Does the Department of Education believe the FBI should be used to intimidate and scare parents out of showing up for the school board meetings? Uh, thank you for that question. Rather than mention or weigh in on what the Department of Justice has done, I can talk about the importance of parents being involved in their child's education and what it looks like. Well, what do you think about the FBI, uh, though, uh, investigating? We now have evidence that the FBI was using counterterrorism tools against parents in response to the DOJ's school board memo. Do you agree with this practice by the DOJ and the FBI? Uh, I'd rather not weigh in on, on what other agencies have done and what they're what they're choosing to do. That's something that they choose and that's their decision. Okay. Did you or anyone at the Department of Education have conversations with the DOJ, FBI, or the White House while the memo was being written? I am not aware of that, no. So neither you nor anybody at the Department of Education had conversations with the DOJ, FBI, or the White House while the memo was being written. Is that right? You're saying no, they did not. I did not. I can speak to what I know in my experiences that I did not. Okay. So and do you know of anyone in the Department of Education that had conversations with the DOJ, FBI, or the White House while this memo I did, was written? Thank you. Thank you for the question. I am not aware of that myself. What we know is that it's been a very difficult year for parents around our country. Right. Did you or anyone at the Department of Education have any conversations with the National School Board Association while they were writing their September letter to the DOJ? Because we know members of the National School Board Association spoke with the DOJ and the White House office while they were crafting the letter. Were you involved in any of these conversations or was anybody at the Department of Education? I'd be happy to have our staff follow up with you on that because I'm not aware of the specific details of the question that you're asking at this point. Okay, and Deputy Secretary Martin, when Secretary Cardona testified before this committee, I asked him about the department's guidance to school teachers that they could be charged with harassment if they say that there are only two genders, male and female. I asked the secretary how many genders there are and he couldn't answer. Could you please tell me how many genders are there? Well, I'd rather talk about the bigger value around our students being able to learn. And under school. your guidance, under your guidance, you are saying that teachers could be investigated for harassment if they state the biological fact that there's two genders. What's so most important is that all, are you all campuses saying, are you saying that teachers could lose their job over this, but you can't actually say how many genders there are? Oh, we don't make decisions at the local level about teachers. But this is local. Say, this came from the Department of Education. This is not this local. If it was local, I assure you, regular Americans, including rank and file Democrats, are furious that the Department of Education is promoting the teacher of teaching of gender identity in schools. It's a made up con concept that's going to have significant implications. Every human is either a male or female. That's a biological fact. Thank you. So you still can't say how many genders there are? I can tell you that the department is committed to student safety and all students' right to access education in all of the what students. About, all what the about the teachers that teach biology or genetics and they say that there's two genders, male and female? It, it's Your department's guidance is saying that they could be subject to investigation for harassment. What do you say about that? At the end of the it's day, I know that. No, it's hard to come up with a, a an answer that could satisfy parents in our country. Thank you for your questions. Yeah, did you have an answer for that? Because teachers could be losing their jobs over this, over saying that they're stating the biological and genetic fact that there's two genders. It's your department that put this guidance out. You're and making the department remain vulnerable. And even students perhaps that don't feel safe in the locker rooms or bathrooms, and they go in um, and, you know, communicate that to uh, 
perhaps a principal or a teacher, perhaps then they're accused of harassment also. All this right. has really got significant implications. Thank so you. I hope next time you could tell us how many genders there are. Thank you, and I yield back. Yeah, thank you. And now, um, finally, I recognize the distinguished gentle lady from Minnesota, Ms. Omar. You have five minutes for questions, please. Thank you, um, Chairman. And uh, I, I, I just want to um, thank the, the witnesses for their testimonies and uh, Ms. Martin for um, your, your, your ability to stay the course um, while you're, you're faced with um, nonsensical uh, line of, of questioning. 